Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. And that day arrived, October 4th, 1957. I was here when the Sputnik was launched, and I remember going out in the parking lot and with a number of other people and looking at flying it overhead and feeling a keen sense of admiration but disappointment uh, that, that, that that was not ours. Because, as you remember, the United States was, was really shaken to, believe, to recognize that this little contraption uh, launched by the, by the Soviets was happily going across the United States several times a day and we couldn't do a thing about it. We've been assigned the mission of launching a scientific Earth satellite. And we will use the Jupiter C configuration as a carrier that we developed along with the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I promised the Secretary of the Army that we would be ready in 90 days or less. Let's go, Werner. This is what they've been waiting for. The deadline is 90 days. 90 days to put a satellite into orbit. A crash program, an emergency. And then, of course, when uh, we got the go-ahead to launch Explorer 1, um, we took enormous pride in that. I really believe that Explorer 1 was the first uh, landmark of space exploration because although it followed Sputnik, Explorer 1 had science instruments on it. And so it was really marks the first use of space for scientific exploration. <laughs> 